Hi, let's quickly solve for the value of x and y in this particular equation, okay? If equation 1 is this and equation 2 is this. First, from equation 1, we can say that x is equal to 4 minus y, okay? So let's call this equation 3. Now let's substitute equation 3 into equation 2, alright? If we do that, we will have that 4 minus y multiplied by y is equal to 12. Now let's open this bracket. 4 times y will give us 4y minus y times y will give us y squared is equal to 12. So when you look at this, notice that we have formed a quadratic equation but it's not well arranged. So first, let's transfer the whole of this to this side of the equation. If we do that, we have 12 plus 4y we cross to become minus 4y. Minus y squared we cross to become plus y squared is equal to 0. Now let's arrange this well. y squared comes first, followed by minus 4y. Then our constant is equal to 0. Perfect. Now at this point, let's rewrite this. We can rewrite this as what? y squared y squared minus 4y plus this 12 can be written as 4 plus 8 is equal to 0. Now we can write this as y squared minus 4y plus 4 is equal to minus 8. Alright, you will soon see why I had to split my 12 as 4 plus 8. Now we can write this as y squared minus 4 is same thing as 2 times 2, right? plus 4 is same thing as 2 squared, is equal to minus 8. Now, when you look at this, notice that this is same thing as y minus 2 squared, okay? Now, using um, the algebra identity, that says that a minus b squared is equal to a squared minus 2ab plus b squared, okay? So, in this case, our a is equal to y, and our b is equal to what? 2. So if you substitute this into this equation, you are going to get the whole of this. So that means we can replace the whole of this with y minus 2 squared is equal to minus 8. All right. Now, to remove this square, let's take square root of both sides of this equation. So if we do that, we have square root of y minus 2 squared is equal to minus 8 square root of what? Minus 8. Now, this we remove the square root sign. So, we have that y minus 2 is equal to plus or minus square root of what? Minus 8. All right. So, we have y minus 2 is equal to plus or minus root 8 multiplied by root what? Minus 1. Yes, since minus 8 is same thing as root 8 multiplied by root minus 1. So we have that y minus 2 is equal to plus or minus. Now, square root of 8 is same thing as square root of 4 multiplied by square root of 2, right? Yes. Now, multiply by root minus 1. From here, we can say that y minus 2 is equal to plus or minus. Square root of 4 is 2, right? Then we have root 2. And square root of minus 1 is what? I. So we have that y is equal to minus 2 across to become plus 2, plus or minus 2 root 2i. All right. Now, we have two values of y from here. The first value is that y1 is equal to 2 plus 2 root 2i, while y2 is 2 minus 2 root 2i. Now, let's go ahead and get the corresponding values of their x. And we are still going to plug this into the equation to see if it actually satisfies the equation, okay? So, stay put and don't go, don't move an inch, all right? Now, we have that y1 is equal to 2 plus 2 root 2i. Two but recall that our x is 4 minus y, right? So, our x is equal to 4 minus y. So, if we want to get x, y, x1 is going to be 4 minus y1. And y1 is what? 2 plus 2 root 2 Okay, so we have that x1 is equal to 4 minus times 2 will give us minus 2. 
minus times plus 2 root 2i is minus 2 root 2i. Now, when we solve this further, we have that x1 is equal to 2 minus 2 root 2i. Now, this is the value of our x1, and this is the value of our y1, all right? Now, let's go ahead and get the value of our x2, okay? So, let's do that here. To get that, we have that y we have that y2 is equal to 2 minus 2 root 2i, two all right? And x is equal to 4 minus y. So that means that x2 is equal to 4 minus. Our y2 is what? 2 minus 2 root 2i. Two so we have that x2 is equal to 4 minus we multiply to give you minus 2. Minus, minus, we give you plus root 2i. Okay? So, we continue. But before that, if this is the first time you're coming across this channel, please, on your notification bell and subscribe to the channel, please. Don't forget to like, comment, and share. Thank you. Now, looking at this, we can say that our x2 is equal to 4 minus 2 is 2. So, 2 plus 2 root 2i. So, this is our x2 and this is our y2. Now, let's check. Let's check. So, let's make use of our x2 and y2 since they are the one we have this side. So, if we plug this into the equation 1, our x1 is what? Our x2, sorry, is 2 plus 2, two, plus two root 2i, right? Plus our y is what? 2 minus 2 root 2i, okay, is equal to 4. Now, let's check. Notice that 2 root 2i minus 2 root 2i is 0. So, we are left with 2 plus 2 is equal to 4. And 4 is equal to 4. And this is perfect. If you also substitute this value into this particular equation, you are still going to get into this place. You are still going to get 12. So that simply means that what we solved is right. Thank you so much for watching and have a lovely day. Bye.